Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Inflames. Could I have you personally introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us you're on the band? I'm Peter from Inflames. I play bass guitar. All right. How are you doing today? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying the heat. Enjoying the heat. Everyone keeps saying it's hot. So what do you think is the girliest thing about you? My hair. <laughs> Your hair? Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Just, I never thought about it though. That's a you know, fast answer. It's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you think you have girly hair? I have girly hair. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Back in Sweden, did you ever have a really crappy job when you were younger that you hated? Not really, actually. Uh, you actually had one. I was a dishwasher once when okay. I was like 18. Yeah. What was that like? It sucked. <laughs> but you know, it was my first job and it gave me independence and money, so you have to start somewhere. That's right. Yeah? Do you think if you go back now, they would be surprised at what you've done with your life? They know. Oh, they know? They know. Yeah. They know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do you have any embarrassing facts about yourself or someone else in the band? No, not really. I mean, probably somebody else in the band in that case, but I would never reveal it to you. Oh. You know? But uh, no, no, no. I'm completely 100% satisfied with myself, you know? There's no other way to live. For people who haven't heard of In Flames, what makes your music special? Why do people need to check out your band? Uh, we're awesome, obviously. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, right? What was it like being uh, a European band coming to America? Uh, it was cool. First time was really cool. You know, it's so far away and such a different, uh, different crowds and everything. You know, but uh, I think speaking the language on a, like a, on a level, of hanging out, not just you know the correct political English. You know, just speaking it uh, on an everyday basis it was okay. the hardest thing. But I mean, you get into it pretty fast. You're doing pretty good, I would say. I fly here. You probably yeah. don't see it. I'm just. Did you get it? I think you just got it. Cool. Nice. High five. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got that on camera. He just nailed that sucker. Um, I know you guys have a lot of fans. You ever had a fan that really caught you off guard or it was really intense? You weren't expecting it sort of thing? Yeah, there's been a few, you know, but people coming up, talking really close and really loud, you know, that's, that's always annoying. But I mean, I, I, I can imagine that would be annoying. I, I love talking to our fans. I mean, it's great, but you have to have some sort of distance, you know, when people speak this close and mm -hmm. really loud, I just hate it, you know. People do that? Like sometimes, get, yeah, sometimes. You get this close? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That kind of sucks. I mean, you never want to be that close to anybody besides your, you know, your girlfriend and stuff. That's right. Yeah, you get a lot of spit in your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Must be rough, man. Do you have kids? Yeah. What do they, what do they think about the fact that their dad is a, is a, is a rock star, so to speak? Uh, the youngest one doesn't, he doesn't know it. He's just two years old, but the oldest one think it's pretty cool. What do their friends think? They gotta be really like... They think it's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> Sign some autographs, maybe? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Very down to earth, huh? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, they have to be. Here's a phone. Just as a child, any embarrassing childhood memories that really stand out for you? Like to sort of describe you as a person? No, sorry. I'm. I'm. Uh, I am what you. I, what you see. What you see is what you get. Or whatever the thing is. There's no uh, embarrassing moments for me. Never. Never ever. Wow. I, I wish I had. For, I, I had forever. quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I never think about it. Anyways, I'm sure there's a few. Describe the person next to you, using one word. Glasses. That's you. Glasses. That's me. Yeah. All right, I'm going to say um, macho. Macho. You sort of look, do you work out? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You brag about it. It's okay. Yeah, I am. that's fine. You got some tattoos here. Any of these mean anything special to you? Yeah, this is my mom. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. She means something to me. What about all, yeah, your mom means something to you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no special meaning. This is a gesture head, though. This is our symbol. Okay. Everything else is something that I came up with together with my tattoo artist. Why is it important for you to have the tattoos or to have that on you? Uh, I think it looks cool. It does look yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah. how it all started, I guess, you know? That's the simplest answer you'll get. And there's no uh, particular meaning behind anything. This is actually, though, I have to say, this is my daughter, her name, and sign for love. Oh, wow. So that's something that's special meaning. But that's everything else cool. is, you know, looks good. So we got the tattoos, now I'll just fix the hair and we'll be good, right? Yeah, yeah no, that, I'm, I'm happy with my girly hair. <laughs> You're happy with yeah. your girly hair. That's that you can use that, you know, over the, the video, the that's, title of the video. That's right. Girly hair. Yeah. Girly hair in flames. Have you ever had a, um, a near-death experience? Yeah, I have quite a few times. I fell down a mountain when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. You fell, fell down a mountain? Yeah. What was, and you were okay, I guess? No, I hurt my back. I couldn't move for like 48 hours or something like that. Wow. Totally paralyzed. I fell down um, ice into the ocean, also when I was a kid. Wow. I came out with stuff like that all the time. When I, was, I, I, was, uh, I wasn't the calmest kid, you know, I did lots of stupid stuff. <laughs> you worry about your kids doing the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. I would never tell them those stories. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, we won't let them watch this. No, no, no. Okay, no. cool. Something I have to do every day is? Eat. There you go. 
eat, eat what? What's your favorite food? Uh, meat. Meat. Yeah, I like so meat. You can get buff. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The most important thing in the world to me is my family. There you go. <laughs> him, this guy. <laughs> He's like, it's me. And him, right? Yeah, of course. That's my family right. and Biffin. But Biffin is family, so. I would never. There's not a lot of stuff that I would never do. <laughs> fall down a mountain again. <laughs> yeah, I'll never, I'll never do that. I'll never fall down a mountain again. Unless you get pushed. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, every day I get up because. I can. You can, that's right. Mm -hmm. And anything that, what's the first thing you want to do when you wake up? Uh, take a morning dump. That's, that's very necessary, yeah. <laughs> Which is hard when you're on the road, right? so you have to kind of keep it inside. That's <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, right now, I really wish I had... Gone to that bathroom in the morning. <laughs> you feel a little better right now? Yeah. That's right. Right, we're going to finish off with a one-word game. You ready? It's, uh, we're going to tell a story. Which, which band member do you want to tell a story about in your band? It'll be fun. Sorry, what? what? Well, uh, choose a member from your band you want to tell a story about. Daniel. All right. So I'm going to have the next word, okay? Daniel is the best uh, type of person to bang. There you go. <laughs> you think this is a true statement? I have no idea. And I, I never watched him. <laughs> You've never watched him? It's on your to-do list. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, man, real quick, I know you guys are on this great tour right now, and you put out some new music recently. Anything you want to promote to the viewers? Yeah, our new record, Sounds of a Playground Fading. You should definitely check it out. You can go on our website, inflames.com, and find all the info on how to get it. It's awesome. It's awesome. Best record you've made? Yeah, of course. Of course. All right, well, thank you for your time, man. I appreciate it. In flames. Check them out. See you guys later. Don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. We're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. Ha, 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 ha. I am a ninja. You need to know. Ninja! Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh, God, oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.